everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Penny. I am a master esthetician in Portland, Oregon, and I'm excited that you're here today because we are going to do a demo and a, an unboxing of the Faustina. This is an at-home IPL device. This device is for hair removal, skin rejuvenation, and for acne clearance. So we're gonna go through what comes in the box. I purchased this with my own money. I got it, it comes from the UK. It took about seven days to get here. And I'm very, very excited about this. You guys have already done uh, my face once and you're gonna see that in the demo, but let's go through what comes in the box first. First of all, you obviously get the device itself. Looks like this, it's actually more substantial than I thought it was gonna be. This is the on off button here. You press and hold that for two or three seconds and then the device will turn on. And then that is also how you toggle from level one through level five for you know how um, you can increase the intensity on this device. So you can start off low and you can move to high. I went ahead today and did mine on a five because I did spot test myself with a one and a two and a three and I just decided that I was gonna go for it at a five. I have had in office IPL before so I was very, very comfortable with it. Then this is the trigger, if you will. It comes with a lamp on it. The lamp that is on it when it shows up, at least mine, was the hair removal lamp. I did pull that one off and I put the skin rejuvenation lamp on the device. This device does come with three lamps. So like I told you, it came with the hair removal and you'll see on the back of each lamp, it says HR for hair removal. And so I pulled this one off and I put the skin rejuvenation, which has an SR on it. Now the third lamp that is in the box it's, I haven't even gotten it out of its packaging yet, but this one says AC on the back, and that is the lamp that is made for acne. Now, each one of these lamps will do 300,000 flashes. So that's, that's a lot of treatments. My primary reason for getting this was for the skin rejuvenation. And the cool thing is that when you first buy it, yeah, you get all three of these lamps, but you can buy replacement bulbs, replacement cartridges for each, whichever one you want to do. So that makes this device, you know, you can use it forever, not just when you run out of the lamp that you want to use. Okay. Also in the box is obviously a cord. This is a plug-in device. This is not a cordless device. Now this is obviously not made for the United States. So they send with it an adapter. You're able to put those together and then you you can plug it in. It fits in our outlets here in the states okay also in the box is a pair of goggles that you can wear now i will say that these are actually not that tiny i mean they're not huge when it comes to ipl goggles these are actually smaller than the ones that we have at work but i am going to search and see if i can find even littler ones you could use the tanning goggles but then you wouldn't be able to see so i'm gonna i'm gonna figure out if i can find some smaller uh, eyewear so that if you want to get a little bit higher up on your ocular bone you'll still have eye protection on not have to move the eye protection and you'll still have eye protection on your eyes which is super super important it also does come with some cotton swabs and it comes with a manual the manual and i have to say it's a really good manual it's a very very thorough it goes through of course everything that is in the box and then it goes through the lamps and what they're for it goes through a list of warnings and cautions that's pretty extensive because there are contraindications to this treatment that is very important and i will put in the description box a general list of who shouldn't use this device because I think that that's pretty important. This also has detailed instructions on how to use it, of course, and just some, some specs of the device, which I think this information is just really good. It's just, if you have ordered devices online before, and a lot of times the actual manual, if there even is one, isn't that great, or it's literally like one page that's folded three times or something. So I actually really like this, and I would highly suggest keeping this all the time. 
They give you a velvet pouch, which I don't even know what I did with it, but they give you a velvet pouch that you could carry this in. I'm planning to just put it all back in the box and store it in the box in between uses because it's kind of keeps it nice and organized and safe. Now, what else is in this little treatment handbook is a chart that will dictate who can and can't use the device and what to be expected with uh, treatment parameters. If you have red, gray, or white hair, or light blonde for sure, then I would not expect this device to work for hair removal. It'll still work for skin rejuvenation and it would still work for acne, but it is not going to work as a hair removal device. And frankly, any device, any IPL device that tells you that even if you have white hair, it will work, they don't, and I will get into why an IPL device even works, what the technology is, what it means, but just know that if you're looking for hair removal, it's best to have lighter skin and darker hair. That's the best case scenario, but the lighter the hair gets, the less, less successful an IPL treatment's going to be. Okay, so then the last thing that is in this manual that I think is pretty cool is treatment protocols. It gives an, an operational procedure for skin rejuvenation, for hair removal, and for acne clearance. And it literally gives you step one through step eight. It gives you treatment parameters like uh, seven to nine treatments spaced this far apart or eight treatments spaced one week apart in the case of skin rejuvenation. So. Very, very good little manual. So that was good to see. Now what I wanna do is I wanna roll the footage of I did my full face. I actually haven't done anything to my skin since I did that earlier today. I did do this on cleansed skin with no products whatsoever on my face, on my skin. Okay, so first of all, how does IPL work? So IPL is broadband light, which is different than laser laser is a collimated light that is just one wavelength traveling in the same direction and it's it's more pinpoint precise whereas ipl is stands for intense pulsed light and it is a broad spectrum of light broadband and we use ipl because it's non-invasive and it's a way for us to apply light to the skin and the skin will selectively absorb that light and it will work for hair removal, vascularity, which is reds, that's blood. It'll work on um, broken capillaries, superficial telangiectasias, and it will also work on pigmentation, which is browns. This device and IPL in general can work for acne because it creates an environment that is not good for acne bacteria, and it also works on our sebaceous glands. The cool thing about this device and IPL in general is that it does generally rejuvenate the skin and that is because the light stimulates our fibroblasts to produce more collagen and that can result in tighter skin which of course is more youthful and can also result in kind of finer looking pores. It's not that the pore size actually changes but if the skin is tighter and the sebaceous glands produce less oil the result could be a refinement to the pores. The way that IPL works for hair removal is that an IPL device emits light at a certain wavelength and then that light is absorbed by the pigment in the hair follicle. So again, the pigment is the target, the pigment in the hair follicle. That light is converted into heat and then it damages the hair follicle. Over several sessions, you can permanently reduce your hair. Now when IPL is working on reds or vascularity, filtered light is emitted in a strong pulse and the blood vessels targeted absorb the light and are heated to the point that they are destroyed. And then the vessels are then reabsorbed by the body. It could take several treatments to resolve some red like around your nose or you know on your cheeks, that kind of thing. But over time, it is, that heat is destroying those vessels and then your body just takes them away. Now my favorite one, you guys, is IPL for skin rejuvenation. And again, 
you know, the IPL device emits this filtered light and in these strong pulses and it stimulates those fibroblasts to produce collagen and elastin. And then that, of course, helps to tighten the skin, which can result in that refinement of the pores. And then it also targets the melanin in the brown spots that we tend to get as we get older. And what happens is, again, it causes cellular turnover. The body will reabsorb the melanin that has been uh, damaged and we can lighten freckles, we can lighten age spots, and it's just incredible for pigmentation. Now, your pigment may get darker before it gets lighter. It may bubble to the surface and then flake off, or like I said, the body may just reabsorb it and it slowly fades away. That's, there's a couple different ways that pigment can resolve itself once it's been treated with IPL. Now, IPL and acne is pretty cool because again, the IPL uses a filter um, with blue light. And that blue light targets the bacteria that is responsible or partially responsible for acne. And that, that bacteria does not like that environment and it, it in turn will slow the acne proliferation and it will also help you not to get new acne lesions because the environment is not good for acne because it also works on the sebaceous glands and then they produce less oil that also leads to an environment that is not as good for acne because the acne bacteria just loves to hang out in oil so if there's less oil produced the environment is also not as good for acne so ipl can definitely profoundly affect acne especially cystic acne so that's pretty cool so to sum it up here you guys about this particular device i have only used it one time beyond doing my spot treatments i've used it one time it did feel like kind of about half as much of a hot rubber band snap than an in-office IPL that I have done. In-office IPL, you get the bright flash of light and you get what feels like a hot rubber band snap on your skin. This felt just like that, only about half. I mean, it wasn't, I still got that flash. I could still, I could still see the flash like inside my brain, which I know is kind of, it's hard to explain because you're, You've got the goggles on and everything you can see a little bit of that flash but the snap itself was very very tolerable but i still felt it and i still did feel after the fact like i had a very very mild wind burn almost not even really a sunburn but it felt identical to when i've done it in office just more mild it felt exactly how i would think a lower output device would feel and that's exciting to me because i feel like potentially that means that with repeated use we could get some results so what's important to note also is the specs on this particular device is it puts out 19 19 plus joules of energy. That's a measure of energy. You need to know that an in-office device is two, three, four times. It's many, many, many times stronger than these handheld devices, which is why they say eight treatments spaced one week apart. You're probably going to get in those eight weeks, you're probably going to get the equivalent of maybe one and a half treatments in office, let's say. So as you can see, it is definitely slower and it takes a commitment of time. So I will say though, it probably takes five, six minutes to do your entire face with an IPL. You can of course do your decollete, you can do your neck, you can do your hands. All of those places you can absolutely IPL. So I think that if you are willing to put the time in consistently once a week, you could definitely get some great results. I will be reporting back. I am going to do this once a week and I will take pictures and progress and we'll kind of play and see how it goes. I feel very, I feel like it's very promising, I have to say. I did buy this with my own money. It was $280. And just for reference, one IPL treatment is about $300 usually. So in my mind, even though a $280 device is expensive, I think once I've surpassed the results of one single IPL, it's paid for itself. And then I continue to own the device. So that's how I justified it. <laughs> If you guys have any questions or any comments, please leave them down below. Remember, this is a relative first impressions 
with you know kind of an unboxing so i will update you when i have more results to report i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you guys are having a wonderful week and i will talk to you again in my next skincare video take care